First and ten at the 47 of FIU. There's Williams. Sees an opening. Little stutter step and a juke, and he's off to the races. Dragged down at the 25 yard line. The ground cannot cause the fumble. Good hustle that time. Uh, getting down to make the tackle is Noah Williams. Curtis. But another big gainer for Williams. For as young as Mr. Williams is, the way that he sells this play. By for FIU said uh, they had 15 missed tackles last week for 77 yards. Intended receiver was Isaiah Harper that time, and Williams threw it behind him. And this one uh, is no good. He pulled it. Morgan back at quarterback for the Panthers out of the shotgun play action looking deep and he fires. This one's going to be picked off at the 39 yard line. Justin Noy a former quarterback himself gets his first pick as a strong safety. Yeah you can see Morgan here. I thought he had great mechanics nice pause in the pocket and then all of a sudden he tried to hit his wide receiver Austin Maloney and jumping that route Mr. Noy. Didn't take long. Quarterback himself going ahead and reading those eyes. No. Russo dumps it over the middle. Cox spins away from the first tackler and he gets back to just over the original line of scrimmage. Third and six. And this one's going to be picked. Oh, it almost picked off and it's caught. Dragged out at the 35 yard line. That's Bryce Singleton. What a beautiful play. Welcome to the tip drill tonight. Norfolk Virginia. Tip one two three in the basket. I like it to 35 on a last second field goal here at second and five of the 28 for Alexander. Keep it on the ground again again it's Phillips Phillips twists and turns finally. Third and three. Got to get the change moving and forward progress, but good the defensive stop that time. Coming up, number 31, Sean Carter. He missed it. But came off and he he pleaded with the refs to let him stay on the field, but uh, rules are rules. So this one's going to be complete over the middle. And at the 25, it's going to be Harper. Harper gang tackled at about the 28 yard line. Needed to get up to about the 30 for the uh, first down. Phillips got the call. Phillips is off to the races, pushed out of bounds, just shy of the 45 yard line. Or check that, it's not Phillips. This time it's going to be Napoleon Maxwell, who was actually, when the season started, he was listed at number one. So it's third and 15 now. Last week they were at 42% on third down conversions. Alexander fires across the middle. And it's incomplete. That'll bring up a uh, punting situation system right now. Harper in motion. Larusa fires over the middle. This one's complete. Inside the 40. All the way to the house. Jonathan Brown. He's going to beat you right off the jump. Nice little quick inside route. Then straight taking it to the sideline and up to the house. So Duhart has his second touchdown. Bobby Wilder said that if Stevie Williams was on target last week, that Duhart would have had a 200-yard receiving game with a couple of touchdowns. They're going five of 12 against Indiana last week. James Morgan looks right, comes back left, heavy rush, and he gets rid of the football. And this one sails over the head at the 40-yard line. And the intended receiver was Ivan Thomas, another freshman out of Miami. Accounting for the two touchdowns, leading 14 to nothing. Larusa steps up in the pocket, fires, and one-headed stab by Jeremy Cox, the senior running back out of Hope Mills, North Carolina. What a catch! Oh. One hand, nice bringing in along the sideline. What a beautiful one-handed grab there, and on. Second and ten from the gun. This one's complete. Inside the 20. And Scott McClooney with the nice grab coming in right now. And just to elaborate a little bit on your tight ends. Having a poor year and then turning it around and having a nice young quarterback to build an organization on. 
There's some running room for Cox. Tries to break to the outside. Gets to the edge. Knocked out of bounds just inside the 15-yard line. It'll be from the 20-yard line, so it's a 30-yard kick. This time he splits the uprights. So he's one for two tonight, and they tack on three more on the board. Seem to have a little bit of a monster in the backfield. Multiple running backs, powerful. Nice cutback that time over the 35-yard line, up to about the 37. Uh, penalties all over the place. The ball carrier Maxwell again. So it's third and ten at the 47. Morgan trying to stretch the field has his man touchdown number 11 uh, C.J. Wharton you can see the inside of the offensive line here the interior handing off those games nicely Williams back on and this one's a complete Now the ball moved up to the 42 at second and five now empty backfield as Williams works out of the gun right over the middle has his man inside FIU territory and Isaiah Spencer the freshman for the Monarchs on the receiving end of that catch I was wondering about that I'm, I was concerned about him possibly getting hurt but when you got a guy as big and as strong as Harper Apparently pound for pound he's the strongest young man on this team. There's a play action Williams buying some really does sell this handoff well to Cox and as well as Cox has been running the football tonight linebackers are stepping up and biting on that handoff which is creating that nice little passing lane Monarchs two for six on third down this is a third and 13 at the 23. And they're trying to set up a, another field goal attempt. They had trips to the wide side. To some of the fans booing with that call, but up 17-7. They're trying to put three more on the board. An impressive list, huh? This one just inside the 30. So that one's good. A 39 and a half yards, 241 to go before halftime. Been involved in this run game, even though they're only showing two shell. Morgan fires has his man at the 40 up to the 45 yard line and that's going to be Austin Maloney with his second catch has he just been indicted for wow trading issues inside trading yeah, yeah. Michael Kirksey this one's complete uh, inside Old Dominion uh, territory that time uh, on the receiving end is uh, Devontae Price so Morgan who threw a 47 yard touchdown in his last uh, possession to C.J. Wharton is moving the chains now and here's Wharton again a Wharton inside the 30 yard line and he's pushed out of bounds at about the 27. Really getting movement on that tackle. Kyab Shear is having a long night tonight right now especially going against O'Shane Simenez to do something real big here. Ball at the 27. Boom complete at the 15 yard line. That's going to be Bryce Singleton. Now he has a second and eight at the uh, 14. And there's Simenez. Just when you think your right tackle is going to be a little bit tired, Simenez comes in with that spin move back up the field. Morgan steps up, feels the pressure. He's going down. The ball's on the carpet. It looks like the Panthers have recovered. But boy, what a missed opportunity if they don't at least get three on this drive. Being at least three points. Once again, we talked about this earlier on in the beginning of the game. The one downfall that James Morgan had was the fact that he holds on to the football. He thinks he's being more decisive and he's not going to make a mistake by holding on to the football. But what this creates is sack opportunity. Maxwell in the backfield. Morgan fires inside the five yard line. There we go. He's in. And there's a touchdown. A nice effort to get into the end zone that time as Tony Gator downs with his one INT. And you can also see that running back that was sitting in the backfield 
his one job. Hop a couple times and go help out that tackle on the right side because you see number seven screaming up the field all night long. Well, drives only result in field goals. So third and three. Phillips puts his head down and it's going to be close to the marker. Had to get to the 30 yard line. Possibly the 31 yard line for the first down. And this is our first attempt on fourth down tonight. Hit immediately at the line of scrimmage. Only needed a few inches. Second effort on that play. Of course, the stinger are getting the wind knocked out of you. You can't breathe. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll take the wind all day long. This one's complete at the 15 yard line. Uh, coming up to make the stop. Touchdown and the PAT gives the Panthers the lead for the first time tonight. Maxwell cuts it back, gets down to the five yard line. It's going to be fourth down at inches again. Second time they go for it on fourth down. Again, oh, second, second effort. effort. Phenomenal. Well, he was stopped dead in his tracks. Try to run it in, and they do. Touchdown, Panthers. It's Shondarius Phillips. This is just straight will and want. Simple pull your backside 10 in across the formation, slant the front, create a nice lane. Offensive linemen have nice wide splits at this point in time. Seems like it never hit any kind of vital organs or did any serious damage which is miraculous by the path of that bullet really was a miracle here's a Harper now Harper kicked it in the sixth gear cuts it back he's over the 40 Isaiah Harper 45 over the midfield stripe and into FIU territory that's exactly why I was surprised they used that new rule with the fair catch in the first half they wanted to try to test Harper out see if he could go ahead and do it hey, step on the side. Well, he really kicked it in the fifth gear right there, huh? That sometimes deflates you as an offense, too. You ain't putting up all that work, eight minute drive, seven minute drive, and then all of a sudden they just take up half of the football field on a kickoff return. That's Harper in motion now, third and 10 at the 47. La Russa fires, has his man, and Harper had it, and it popped out. Nice defensive play uh, coming up to make that. Morgan fires has his man Alexander Alexander sidesteps one man over the 35 yard line and he's finally uh, dragged down from behind a big gain real nice pass protection here you got the defensive front slanting across putting his foot in the ground was Alexander right there cutting across back so Alexander who had four catches last week that last one uh, covered uh, 29 yards and look at this run. And this time it's going to be Devonte Price says, "Hey, I want to get back into that stable. I want to get some carries." Ball now to pick six. This is Palmer. The big guy lumbers down close to the 35-yard line, maybe inside the 35-yard line, and he's looking more and more comfortable. Already saw him put one of them on the ground, flipping it back there. He's got to get it up. Morgan, looking deep, wide. Open. Austin Maloney. And the Panthers are on the prowl. Poor JoJo Heaton had no help on the top side of this, and it looks like they had a little bit of a miscommunication. He had no inside help. He was supposed to be one on one, and he thought he was going to be passing him off to a safety over top. Third down, they're 5 of 11 now on third down, third and three. And this one's caught by Gator. Boy, he put the ball right where it had to be. Gator went down and got it. Nice job. As we mentioned before, playing with some uh, extra motivation. But running back uh, Anthony Jones is a incomplete. Some miscommunication that time. The defensive jersey, he turned it up a notch. Became that physical corner that they were looking for. Monarchs now six of 13 on third down. This is a third and three. They're going to move the chains with the first down as the ball is uh, completed. Dante Anthony, the freshman out of Temple Hills, Maryland. They're doing things right over at FIU. Second and ten. 
Williams near side and Fulgham has it at the 40 inside the 40 yard line. Between Anthony Johnson. Silva. Even Curtis is getting in the backfield at this point in time. That, that, that pocket's starting to collapse a little bit. These offensive linemen better be a little bit more stout. He's been setting up. Here comes Silva. There we go. Furman Silva with the sack. Tonight, Morgan got the edge up on Alexander. Morgan fires, has his man. He's popped. Over the 15 at about the 17 yard line needed 10 and that's going to bring up a uh, punting situation now for the Panthers 934 clock is uh, running 930 will have good field position. Well Wilson really put some leg into that one. Brown backed up and Brown has some running room and Brown spins finally dropped out at the 40 yard line. Return for the Monarchs. He ended up just splitting this coverage right up the gut right there. I know you got to have contained, but how come it took so long for the other line to come down there? You got your gunners that usually end up down the field first. In the last week, he and the Monarchs with good field position now. Williams at quarterback, and he has nowhere to go. There's another sack for the Panthers. They're going to share that sack. He had three of the big boys wrapped up. Well, Williams is running for his life now. He just has to throw this one away. And once again, the Panthers giving pursuit. Uh, Silva has a few words for the sophomore quarterback. Good for for clearly Pete Carroll has a has a future for Alex Magoo. And the Panthers, meanwhile, uh, keep it on the ground. Uh, that's Maxwell. Maxwell's going to take himself out of the game. Uh, six of 14 tonight, uh, moving the chains on third down. Devontae Price in the backfield. And that uh, ball would have been completed, uh, but it's uh, knocked away. Great PBU by Dickerson on that play, who's subbing in, obviously, for Branch, who was supposed to be the backup. The one clock is running down at eight, still in this football game. Need a touchdown of the two point conversion. This is Brown. Brown just shy of the 45 yard line. Now for the first down, they move the chains with the 540. Sure the continually putting in LaRusso to go ahead and try to calm Williams down is going to be the answer if ODU wants to become successful. Here's Harper again. Harper cuts it inside the 35 uh, yard line. Isaiah Harper down close to the 30. Boy, he is electric if they get the ball and open the feet. Brent Guy might have to get a phone call from a 305 number. Here's a pitch on the far side and there's some running room and all the way down inside the 10 yard line. That's Jackson the redshirt junior. And Brett I really thought if we we're going to see Will Knight or Lala David. They've only converted to three third downs here. Larusa steps up in the pocket he's going down. Here we go. Line side rush. That's number 90, Noah Curtis again. Johnson, Anthony Johnson again. We were told that if he's going to have a one on one matchup, he should win his matchup. Well, Dominion tonight. Big fourth down play right now. LaRusa steps up, fires, and this one falls incomplete. That could be the ball game right there with 3.02 to go. Looks like they're bringing pressure to the strong side over there. And it looks like it's going to be close. Uh, they're over the. It looks like they just got back to the 20. It looks like they're going to move the chain. So they they get the first down, and the clock is running now. As we uh, O'Hannon, the uh, sports information director. Oh, that's going to ice it right there. Another first down, and then some. Phillips inside Monarch territory down inside the 45 yard line with a minute 19 to go and congratulations and kudos to Mr. Sterling reason being is because I think he just might have ended up in the tackle category. So after a suspect start for James Morgan he might have solidified his uh, spot as the starting quarterback here for the Panthers which is always good to see earlier on in the year and you're able to see one guy come ahead especially in game time situations. We're not making a decision based off of practice when he's not under fire and pressed. And 
when the big lights are on and the fans are in the stands cheering and booing, it makes a big difference when your quarterback shows up and shows out.